Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following the channel, you know I've been struggling with this Cub Cadet 129 for a little while now. If you haven't been following the channel, uh, do so. Please hit that like and subscribe button, maybe even that bell for notifications. So if you've been following along, you know that we have set the valves on this. We tore the carburetor apart. Man, we've done everything. We've swapped out the engine because this puppy wouldn't run. So I'm still having issues with it starting and staying running. So I thought I'm missing something. Let's start from the beginning. And I pulled the spark plug out and laid that down, turned it over a few times. And as in my past videos, I saw I do have spark. This time I stayed on it a while. And what I noticed is my spark is very intermittent. So now I think I solved the problem. So that tells me points, which you saw me reset. That tells me coil or condenser. And I'm sure there's some of you smart enough out there who want to put in the comments how you diagnose which one is wrong. Well, what I did is I just ordered new points, coil, and condenser. So that's what we're going to install today. Let's get to work. All right. So we're going to start by removing the points. And those connect to the negative side, which is stamped on the top of the coil. And I've already got the cover off. So if you still have the cover on there, it's just two uh, little screws to take that cover off. The other thing you'll notice is our wire has been spliced twice. So when we take this off, we're going to head up to the workbench and put a new wire on here because that might be our problem. You'll have to excuse the sniffling. I've been suffering from a man cold. For a few days now, I'll try to edit out uh, a lot of my sniffling and such. Our gasket looks good. We just need to pop this off the coil now. And I'm using an 8 millimeter wrench. It seems to work. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I actually have two condensers hooked up right now. I was trying to uh, guess and check my way through to figure out what the problem is. And I had an extra condenser at home, which might have been junk. And uh, it could still be a condenser issue and not a coil issue or a points issue. That's why I ordered all new stuff. And I just got it off Amazon. I think all three components cost me about $30, $35. So I thought, well, for $35, bucks, I get a peace of mind that everything's brand new. A couple days from now, I'll have a new spark plug wire coming in the mail, too. As obviously, that could be the problem, too. We got our condenser off and our points. Okay, got our coil out of the way, condenser out of the way, and we're just going to work on our point system to make sure they look reasonably similar. Looks like we ordered the right one. And as you can tell, this points wire has been you know, pretty hacked up. And let's see what we can do with that. If we can. Oops. Okay. On there good and tight. On there good and tight. All right. Let's head back over to the tractor. We want to keep it wrapped around the wire. That gasket is for the 
uh, cover. Now this bottom one's always got to be a booger. Okay, off and running. All right, so we got that all hooked up. We still got our gasket on for when we put the cover on, but that's got to wait because we've got to get these babies set correctly before we can put the cover on. So now we're going to tackle that coil. got a bolt here and one on the other side which got to loosen to get that out I believe so we're gonna work on that So we got this old junky one out. And now we've got this condenser, which is mounted right here. And we'll try to get that out. It's 5 sixteenths. I don't know if you can quite get that in there, though. How the heck did we even get that in there? All right, let's get rid of that junk. Okay, so now we want to set this in like so with our negative towards the left side, our positive on the right side. All right, got that tightened up. So now we can get our bolt back in here. Okay. And this is the plus side. side I'll we'll have our wire from our points and our condenser Show better row. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this guy in right here. Tighten this in a lot easier. Nice and tight. Hook up our spark plug wire again.
Okay. So right here is where it opens and closes. If you can see that, yep. So with this Kohler K301, we want a points gap 0.02. So now we need to spin the motor over until that opens. Okay, so there's our T. Okay, so now we'll grab our feeler gauge. And we want to put that, whoopsie, kind of cool our extension we rigged up. Put our feeler gauge in there. And let's see if that'll do the trick. is no. So, turn that just a little bit. Get her loose. Move our ridiculous extension out of our way. And then, should be able to push this over ever so slightly. Whoop, way too wide. Okay, so we got her opened up. Too short. Bring it back down just a hedge. Put that in there. Oh, I'm liking that. Put it in there. Slight drag. Let's retighten it. Double, triple check our gap here. Yep, I'm liking that. Well, that's it for today's video. We got the points. We set them. New coil, new condenser. So keep tuning in because we still got to replace an ignition on this and a few more odds and ends. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Hit like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see you next video.